I'm here. Hell yeah, bro. I'm here, brother. Headphones or we go raw? Whatever you want, honestly. Uh, what do you listen? Want? I just like to, I just like to hear hear my my own voice. Okay. <laughs> you don't have All to right. though. <laughs> no, we can. Because Francis will go raw if you want. We if you want. You know what? I might go out. raw. I yeah, might go, go raw. raw. Like you got beautiful yeah. ears. Thank you, man. Yeah, they're proportionate, so <laughs> people don't get to see them often. Is it true that your ears just grow your whole life? Is I've that heard true? That. I've heard that that your ears just con- your ears continue to grow your entire life. That, that's crazy. If that's true. Yeah, so, so they, maybe you're in a sweet spot of proportionality. So they don't they don't stop at puberty. Yeah, that's I don't know. Because have you ever seen old ass people with massive? Uh, yes. But it's like, did they always have massive ears, or do the, the ears just keep on growing? <laughs> Hold up, I'm getting attacked by this. Hello. All right, we're cool. We're cool. We're chilling. Awesome. We're All right. Well, you we need to water s- anything? No. no. Good. Man. The- yeah. Yeah. We can just hop right in. Yeah? Yeah. We're already recording. Okay. We keep it pretty professional over here. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it's good. I All like that it. ear shit was a planned <laughs> bit. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Welcome back to this. I hear you. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That was stupid. That's that good. was so stupid. <laughs> so fucking good. That was so stupid. <laughs> one for one. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Welcome back to the Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today, we are joined by Noel Miller. What's up, everybody? What's, What's up? going on, bro? How's it going? It's good, dude. Yeah? This is, um, this is not what I'm used to. Why? Yeah, this feels like um, it's we're like, all over you. Yeah, it's like a lot of folks. I know. I'm not, I'm not used to this many people, but it's cool. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, it should be. It's a good time. I, I have to say, relaxed. I have to say, this is very cool. One, seeing you here now. Oh yeah, you know. And well, then, okay, you gotta give context to that because you basically started Sass's not only stand-up career but his entire career. Uh, I, I don't <laughs> want to say basically I, responsible for all his uh, all his successes. I don't <laughs> want to say I started it, but. <laughs> Sass, so this is actually a really funny story because I knew Sass as just like a Twitter personality. And you're young, but you also have an old face, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, you should hear his like heart tests. Oh, you yeah, we were just going over his yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. It's not as old as it gets. It's not yeah. good. His well, lipids are crazy. Yeah, well, he's no, white. No. He's going to age <laughs> horrendous. <laughs> but, um, so he kind of had an old face. And so I didn't think he was a teenager. Right. So I just like I followed him, I retweeted him, I talked to him, like, hey, what's up, bro? This and that. So then we had a show and I invite him out. And he's like, Hey, can I get in? I'm only seventeen or something. And I'm like, I'm like, You're a kid? No, you gotta be in your thirties at least. So then I'm thinking, like, am I on a list? So then so then he uh, you know. We like kind of stay in contact, and then Sass tells me, he DMs me, he's like, "Man, I got offered to work at Barstool. I don't know if I should do it." I said, "Do it, man." I'm like, "New York, you, you want to do comedy, right?" He's like, "Yeah, I want to try stand up." I'm like, "That's the place to go." If, if I was your age, and if there's something I could have changed, I would have gone and did that. And so he came here, and look at what the fuck happened, dude. Yeah, yeah, I totally forgot. Yeah, I did. I hit you up uh, when I got the when I got the offer. Yeah. Cause I was like, I don't know if this is the right move. Yeah. Did you hit up a lot of people, or were you just like, this is my? No, he was the up. only person I really knew that was successful. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's love. What did you see from Sass? Like, what do you remember? What tweets? What or what he was talking about? Or like, what was the? It was, was a long vibe? time ago. <clears throat> yeah. I just thought for him <clears throat> to be like as young as he was, I don't know, just like framing his thoughts in that way. I'm like, oh yeah, and he he told me he's like, I want to try stand up and. I want to write. I want to do sketch. <laughs> he already had the mind for it. So, yeah, I just thought it's a no-brainer. It'd be a huge miss if he didn't take it and went elsewhere and then just dreamed about it for years. Right. If he, like, went to college and got, like, a job or went to yeah. conventional yeah. or some yeah. shit Yeah, like just to be a, you know, I don't know. Just to I be like a, what I was gonna do, yeah. probably nothing, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine he was a project best. manager being like, you know... <laughs> I had this tweet. <laughs> it fucking banged. You know, like, yeah, 300,000 likes. Yeah. You even know what the fuck that's like? Yeah. You know the power I have at my fingertips? Oh, man. So then I, you know, then you came here and, you know, the Barstool audience was like, 
I can't wait for this kid to kill himself. Yeah. <laughs> they hated him for a minute. Yeah. Oh, man. They we'll help him die. Me. That's what they used to say. They we'll help him me. die. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was like, I remember the the worst comments, the ones that you saw get to me, they'd be like, should have stayed in college. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, yeah. I should have. I definitely should have. <laughs> yeah. That was terrible. Because I didn't realize how fucking ruthless the blog commenters are, especially. Yeah. 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 The people on the blog, I was like, they're going to, yeah, they're probably going to love me. But it's funny that they get, <laughs> <laughs> they get you both ways because the one comment I ever always get is this guy went, you know, to college and now he works at Barstool with a waste yeah. of your parents' tuition money. Uh, and You said college when you meant to say Harvard. You went to Harvard. But, but that was a yeah. soft way of no, putting it No, I meant to, to say it so that you could then insert the clarification <laughs> and then I'd Harvard. be like, oh, was that? Well, Speaking like this, you definitely should have stayed at Harvard. <laughs> 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 you would have been a great lawyer, man. <laughs> I'll kill myself. I will kill myself. No, I'm uh, on, the blog, on your recommendation, yeah. counselor. <laughs> the blog commenters are the nastiest, though, and they still are. Oh, and yeah. At first, you want to go and like get your validation from them, and I've learned to kind of back away, and then I thought that they would have matured as I've matured along the way, but they're still just the same. And I wonder if it's like guys getting older and they're grounding themselves by still just uh, being really nasty, or is it a new class of uh, like no, it's cretins. the same dudes, and they're like yeah. like they're the worst haters. I mean, they're the best haters technically I've ever seen in my entire they're life. They're brilliant yeah. haters. Yeah, like mm -hmm. they really know what they're doing. Yeah, they can make you. They they'll take something you don't even know you were insecure about I, I, and, and point that out. And the thing I don't even think a young person could swim in those waters because i would like i'd be afraid to try and hate as much as those guys you know they're the, grizzled vets yeah yeah really? i feel geniuses. like the young i feel like the kids nowadays are hating way more than anyone else ever had you think oh dude on instagram yeah yeah instagram it's yeah. like there'll be a girl who just just be like get ready with me in the morning and then the comments are like only fans whore yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. and then she doesn't even have an only yeah. fans yeah, they just assume mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah like god damn it but some of the hate is soft from from the youth like people like some hate now is just like oh dude this dude's just chatting it's like that's like a, that's like a heavy like yeah. allegation or whatever but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like a that big of an insult to, for someone to be like, yeah, you're just fucking chatting. Right, yeah. It, yeah. Seems, it seems soft and weak. Because here at Barstool, you get beat down oh, by 40-year-old yeah. men yeah. <laughs> who are like, I don't know how to use the internet, but I know how to make this person feel fucking bad. Yeah. That's that feels bad, like getting roasted by someone who types like this. That's, <laughs> they fucking clean you, like they put you in your feelings. Your the phone screen font is set yeah. to that like grandfatherly yeah. font. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Their glasses down on yeah. their nose. Yeah. Fuck <laughs> you, dude. The worst thing Instagram ever did was add the how you could see the amount of likes a comment has. Yeah. So now it's like someone will hate and they'll be like, this is the worst. Like if you, they'll post a video of me on Barstool and be like, this is the worst post Barstool's ever had. Yeah. And it'll have like 300,000 likes. Yeah. And it was like, dude, that's like three MetLife stadiums of yeah. people just agreed with that person. It was like, this is the worst thing a company that's been around for 20 right. years has ever posted. Three MetLife stadiums? Is that how you track It's things? more like five, honestly, because they're like 60,000. Yeah, but then, but, then, but then they'll always like, go under their own comments they'll be like wow since you're here follow my twitch yeah, stream yeah, like yeah. you know yeah. which really i mean that off. seems like that's the way to do it it's now. not a bad yeah. technique that's like twitter that's all twitter is now it's i mean just... what's his name who did the target run oh, oh yeah drake's fuck. uh drake's boy yeah yeah that's drake's boy no 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 now they are though <laughs> we need to put some respect on his name bro what i don't know what his guy's name, name? Is. do you remember his name Ty Ty what, what's the dude's name yeah. Ty Ty the target, target, run. Guy? target run original it's like fucking and now he's got like deals with like ESPN. Did you see that? He's doing like ads for like ESPN now of him just watching ESPN being like, late stage capitalism, bro. <laughs> and and Drake, uh, he remade the video and then tagged him. Yeah. It's really? Love. Yeah. Drew, I didn't Drew know that. Walls? Drew Walls. You're like, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Respect on his name. Yeah, dude. He really is. Just because everyone clowned the shit out of him. And then three weeks later, everyone's like, man, look how stupid this is. <laughs> it's like you're just doing it and people are making like genius uh the one dude on twitter or on uh tiktok had like three different perspectives within the same one yeah. it's like a format basically isn't now. that all just casey neistat sort of yeah, yeah. like but, what they're doing but casey's was like you know tarantino cuts yeah that's true you yeah. know it's like door handle inside outside yeah, yeah, yeah. foot in, yeah everyone used to make fun of Casey Neistat though for yeah. like when he'd film himself like driving out of his parking garage yeah, yeah. and everyone would be like did he just set up a camera and then yeah. drive away and then get out of the car yeah now everyone is doing that yeah 
It is crazy to yeah. set it up in the Target parking lot, drive away, and then go back and get it. <laughs> but you have to respect it. He's yeah. on he's on Poppy's radar. Yeah. <laughs> That's love. I really want to see one of those cut together, and then the last frame is the, like, the drive-off, and then someone runs up and grabs the phone. <laughs> And yeah, they, you but need they, to see they post it to like their account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? They got all the footage. Yeah. <laughs> I edited this for you, champ. <laughs> <laughs> we need to see every side of it. Do you think those guys have any shame? Do you think there's any shame, or do you think they're making so much money that they just don't give a fuck? Like, I do think. you think there's any shame in like setting up the tripod to go get the cart at Target? No. That's I because they're the same dudes who are just popping shirt off in front of the camera. Like, if yeah. you don't have the shame to like expose nipple, then you you don't have the shame to put something up in a. You'll never see my nipples in your life. No, dude. no, never. Yeah. Ever. I'm not popping top. You'll pop a top off, though. Because you, you have a beautiful bod. But I'm really white. Too white. <laughs> you no, pop the top all custardy. the time. I just saw you pop the top in a video the other day. What? Yeah, foreplay. Oh, well, that was a celebration where I ripped the shirt in ex ex Yeah, but that's like, I, I would just- I'd rip a shoulder out trying to rip my out shirt. Out of an instinct, like if I ever was <laughs> celebrating, the last thing to come off would be my shirt. My dick would be out before my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like Winnie the Pooh, uh, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. I've That's had the crazy. dude. I've had the thought a thousand times. Like I, I got pants I'm pulling yeah. your dick out. I've got I got, I got pants on stage at a uh, at a comedy festival, how skank did, fest. How did that feel? Didn't matter. Like I didn't care about it at all. And then I was thinking, about it, I was like, if they ripped my shirt off, I would have cared about that so much That's more. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> there's video of it. Someone like showed him video of his own dick, and he just like didn't care at all. <laughs> he says yeah, it the didn't smallest his dick's ever been, and he was just unfazed. Wow. That's a man that was forged by internet comment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's nothing that they. Because there's yeah. nothing they're gonna say about my dick that I would care about. What are they gonna say? Your dick's small. I'm like, yeah. Who cares? If they were like, yeah, yeah, tiny you got titties, game, you got yeah. titties. Yeah. Out of the TNG boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. If they said you got big ass titties, I'd be like, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> this, this dude is Buddha. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Zen like, dude. <laughs> He's on. You got the smallest dick I've ever seen. <laughs> and what? And what? <laughs> yeah. What else? Wow. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> but yeah, no, we owe you a debt of gratitude for Sass's entire career. His, his, his... Oh man, no, he, he's the one who said all that shit. I was just like, man, go over there. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> Yeah. I, I also thrive in giving people terrible advice. Like yeah. if people are just like, should I do this? My answer is always yes. I'm going to hit you up then when I want to do something dumb. <laughs> Dude, do it. Yeah. Honestly, I'm fucking, uh, I will push you towards, but you do crazy shit too though. You are you, you fucking like drive go-karts and shit like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The fuck? Yeah. Carts. Yeah. Carts. <laughs> my, my, my new project is a, a talk show desk. That's a race car. Are you serious? Yeah. 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 So that's tough. How did you, laps. how'd you start doing that? Um, I've always just like loved driving, but it was during the pandemic. I did a virtual race with a Formula One driver, Lando Norris. Um, mm -hmm. just want to pick that name up real quick. <laughs> it gave, McLaren, it yeah. gave something McLaren, for Francis. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> McLaren? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Harvard. He knows what yeah, a McLaren like, is. Well, I love that show. <laughs> I, it, it only took us 10 minutes for me to be the asshole. Yeah. <laughs> I, I knew I shouldn't be here. I was no, eating no, a no. nice beet salad ten minutes ago. Wow, you really are from hard. Sass is going on about you know his lipid levels and his fucking a nice liver beet being. Salad. It's yeah. still over there. There's remnants of the beet spring brought wow. from. BYO. I set it down. I yeah. set it down. Wiped BYO my hands beets. thoroughly before I shook your hand. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can. I can hear. The Ivy League ovulation going crazy. Yeah, I love it. I love a man who makes a nice beet salad. <laughs> it was, uh, it was made. I gotta yeah. get on the beets. The beets are healthy for your heart, right? Yeah. Superfood. Yeah. Yeah, superfood. They're good yeah. for your blood. I need that. Um, but yeah, so I, I did that, and then uh, there's a there's a dude named. He's got the craziest name ever. Shout out to my boy, uh, Jagger Jones. Ooh. He's the grandson of like a legendary uh, Grand Prix driver, Parnelli Jones. And he, he hit me up and he goes, yo, man, uh, at, at that time he was driving NASCAR. Um, he's like, hey, uh, if you want to drive carts, like the stuff that you know, a lot of drivers grow up doing, um, I'll, I'll kind of I'll introduce it to you. So I said, yeah, sure. And then like from that one moment, I was hooked. And uh, yeah, so I think I've like carted for like three, three and a half years now. Raced a few times. I want to race more, but like just my schedule doesn't allow. But so yeah, that's kind of why. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to find a place to race frequently. Yeah, but Especially that's if you're that's, touring on weekends and shit like that. That's something I'll do though. Is I'll look up a local track, and I've done oh, that a fun. lot. Yeah, like, yeah. I've like you know, I've done drives in like northern New York. Like, oh, what is that shit whole city? Um, Albany, <laughs> Rochester. No, keep going. Buffalo, Ithaca. Syracuse. 
Syracuse. Yeah. 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 Um, I went to like, I went to, be- does have a beautiful track up there? I, I almost moved for that track. It was so good. And then nah, um, you don't want to live in Syracuse. Syracuse I don't want to be on your ass, but dude, it's so cold. Yeah. It'll be the dead of summer and it'll be like negative 30 yeah. degrees gray there. Yeah. It's a fucking foul city. No, they have a the beautiful car track though. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've raced in like, or I've driven in like Indiana and, and other places, but yeah. So then from that, like, I wanted to race full size cars, but just no time. So that's kind of like what motivated me to like build this crazy idea. It was like, I'm like, all right, if I could do what I normally do, but also at like high speed, this could be dope. Yeah, that's so, yeah. awesome. Yeah. And how did you uh how did you know that you wanted to take like regular driving to like racing? Were you just like a crazy driver? Were you nice with it? Or oh you, yeah, like, no, drag I mean, yeah, no, I, like I had a Honda and I like work on cars with my up. friends and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but at that time I, I couldn't afford to go to the track like ever. Yeah. So it was just something I'd always dream about. Do you ever take your uh, your work home with you and drive like a fucking maniac or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Do you really? Yeah, yeah there's some roads near the house that I can <laughs> definitely get fucking loose on. <laughs> you really open it up? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Dude, I rented a, I rented a, fuck, what is it, a Subaru, is it an Impreza, is that what yeah, it's called? Yeah, yeah. And that's got the fucking, the gear thing, the paddle. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was driving that thing. That was like the most fun I've ever had driving. Wow. And that's car not even cringing cl- right Yeah, now. I know. <laughs> yeah. I've talked about this before and people yeah. were furious yeah. about it. But I mean. All the lesbians want to finger you right now. <laughs> See, it's a call for women that like women, bro. Yeah. That's exactly what I said when that's he was talking. Stereotype. It really yeah. is, dude. Yeah, and guys who like uh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> is that really how they get into racing though is with go-karts? Uh, pro drivers, yeah, yeah, they'll start them on carts as early as like. But like they're kids, right? Yeah. yeah. They're, they're I've always young, wondered yeah. about that because I always wondered how you like approach your parents and you're like, I want to be a NASCAR driver. Uh, well, first you got to be like a billionaire. Yeah. And, then, yeah. <laughs> and your parents and your grandparents also have to be NASCAR yeah. drivers. Yeah. It's all like in in their blood. Yeah. yeah. To the it's point that they juniors. take you serious when you say that. Too. Well, that's what that's what makes NASCAR so interesting. See? <laughs> it, it started during Prohibition. That's how the whole thing got kicking. <laughs> Dude, we went to a NASCAR. No, these motherfuckers need to circle. <laughs> <laughs> you went to, you, which NASCAR race did you go to? Some of them is to triangle yeah, up yeah, in yeah. the Poconos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we went to the NASCAR race in uh, in Florida and like went out to the bar with one of the NASCAR drivers. I'm not going to say his name because like he took his work home with him and he's like, like, let's all get in my car. And we literally like were at the bar drinking with him and then got like five of us into his Mustang and he was just. Oh. Had had a little load on, and he was wow. just whipping through fucking uh, wow. whipping around Florida. Wow. But I was like, "This is the safest person that we could be with in this scenario." Oh yeah, 100%. drunk driving. Like yeah. he it, he was nice with it, and he but he was making a meal of it. He was having a nice little time behind the wheel. Oh, I think those guys they make decisions at like two hundred miles an hour. So even sixty feels like nothing to them. Yeah, yeah. they're they're not, it's not phasing them. Mm. It's not intimidating. Mm. It doesn't feel dangerous. They're nowhere near the car in front of them. I'll say that, man. Carts, they change your perception of speed because, like, you're so low to the ground and they're so quick. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. That, like, in my in my car, I, I forgot where. I, like, opened it up and I was with um, my producer. And then, we I don't know, we hit a point. I'm like, I should probably slow down. I just, like, looked down. I'm like, oh, that was 100. <laughs> it was like, I, I don't do that. I don't do that on public roads. It was just like an empty freeway. But what's um, what's the fastest you've ever gone in your car? In my car, I haven't actually gone that quick. Like 100, 110. Yeah, I don't. It's LA. There's nowhere you're really gonna sure. yeah get to 100. What's yours? What what? How fast does the Tesla go? Uh, I've I've probably gone 103, yeah. but it was just to. I was very scared. Yeah. Just uh, you know, seeing that number on the on the odometer, the yeah. speedometer is is daunting. Yeah. Well, it's the worst when you don't even notice too. If you're on like a long drive, mm-hmm. yeah, like you're on and then 95 you just look and you're down like, and you're going away. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you realize, realize it's been bad. accelerating for the last ten minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just fucking. <laughs> Uh, just bored just yeah. listening to a podcast about global warming <laughs> uh, I'm not doing my fucking part wow dude I was in Buffalo last year I was doing Buffalo Helium mm. and we were going to the was Bills it? game it's great yeah. great room yeah we were going to the Bills game me and my buddy Mook yeah and uh 
We got an Can Uber. It was in the. <laughs> 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 Yo. <laughs> and we were. Leave that. There was a blizzard. Yeah. It was a. It was like a. It was the dip, the, the Bills Dolphins game last year that ended. Oh in the field shit! Goal. Yeah. Full on blizzard. Yeah. And our Uber driver was going like 100 miles per hour no, no, and he no, was like no. don't worry i actually race cars for fun <laughs> and then he had an he had one of those ipads on the back of his like the back of the seat yeah and he made us pull up videos of him racing cars on youtube oh. while he was going like 100 miles per hour in a foot of snow do you remember what kind of car no 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 Damn. idea subaru impreza was it no. <laughs> it must have been yeah was he like a the way he was or... driving was he like redneck or no not really okay. ah, a little bit a little bit okay. i think you gotta be a, at least a little bit I yeah. prefer to watch someone's racing videos than someone like play me their music like an Uber driver. You must get that a lot. Uh, I'm I keep it under the under wraps. People don't. Uh, I'm not like telling By the Uber, way, Uber. This is very dope. I used to watch a ton of Grind Time. So, That's hilarious. Yeah, I watched a lot of. Grind You're time. old as fuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Well, no, I'm just you know. No, no, no. Totally. We're the obviously the, like, Avatar, about the same man. age. I've yeah. been 16 since. I don't know. 1990. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Something. Yeah. Once you get locked into the internet. But yeah, it was it was a blast. Grind time was hilarious. Yeah. It was when I mean there was Is Grind Time what you did before That's was, crazy. King of the Dot? That's yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. That's what I mean. That's how yeah. you know we're bro. But uh yeah, it was a league before King of the Dot. Yeah, it's yeah. like what it's all based on. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've watched your old grind times. They're yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, they're great. I, yeah, I've yeah. seen that one where you, yeah, went, like, yeah. you went up against the dude. <laughs> yeah, he ripped the bomb. He <laughs> yeah. the bomb. In the... <laughs> That's yeah. sick. Is that the one where you battled the dude who didn't have anything prepared for his like third verse and he tried to freestyle? Yeah, that was the first one that I ever yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Against the dude named Illegal. That's so funny. It was sick, yeah. It was like 2009. This is great because you're the only person. You know what's great? I'll, I will, I'll just ether the vibe in this room. You're the only one I could say like, remember when Daylight took a shit on the stage? I was there. Yeah, and... <laughs> I was in you, you I was in Arizona. No, yeah. you remember that. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was a huge day like We guy. were in the yeah. Harvard <laughs> dormitory yeah. watching that live. Yeah. He had to go, you know, and people don't know that about him. Where are you from, man? Maine. Maine, yeah, yeah. You can drive fast up there, <laughs> yeah. but you got to be careful. You hit a moose, you're, oh, you're going to die. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're so tall with their legs that they don't fall into the car. They fall through the dashboard. That's why people die when they hit no, moose. No, I met someone through Battle Rap that was uh, a quadriplegic because they hit a moose. Wow, that's got to be a. Did you that's got to be the like moose? top three worst ways to become <laughs> a quadriplegic. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't understand how that would happen. I would think you'd just die. There were two other people in the car, and the other two people got away like scot free. Mm. And uh, this guy just fucking lost it all from. But he was a big battle rap fan. Shout out to Joel. You, you hit a deer, they go. They just <laughs> yeah, go across the punt. road. A moose, you break their legs and they topple. Because it's so yeah, yeah they're so the, tall the, the and top heavy. That would probably destroy a friend group, right? <laughs> if you got in a car crash and you lost all of your limbs, and then your buddies just walked away completely fine. <laughs> yeah, like we're gonna go golf later. <laughs> yeah, you know, they have the uh, yeah. they have those carts. <laughs> yeah. for you, we can lug you around if you want. I don't know, man. <laughs> Elon put out the chip this week. Yeah. Quadriplegics yeah, might be coming back. <laughs> it's going to be fired up in a mech suit. <laughs> it's the perfect time. Remember all that drinking you did without me? <laughs> I'm gonna, back, yeah. bitches. <laughs> we'll see who's in a fucking chair with wheels yeah. now, bitch. <laughs> Pass the Stanley Cup. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's tough times. But yeah. He, he's the man. Um, but yeah, it was... Uh, Grind time was a, it, it was a, it was an era. It was an incredible time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why were, were, do you ever think about uh, rap battling when you were, when you were watching it? Were you ever like, this could be me? I, a lot of my friends would try to get me on that. Cause it was just like, you know, I, I'd watch it so much and obviously like I wanted to pursue comedy. They're like, you should do this. And I'm like, nah, I don't know. It just doesn't. Cause I feel it's just a different headspace you got to be in. Yeah. Yeah. You should try a little bit too hard. You yeah. just say some things you probably regret. Yeah. Threaten to beat up people that you couldn't beat yeah, up and yeah. stuff like that. It's like, dude, I know I'm a pussy now looking back, but I'd be like, I'll fuck you up, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's why I think Sharon was so crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He'd walk into an all black venue and be like, I'm going to shoot this motherfucker up. Everyone's like, <laughs> He like pulled out like a fucking uh, like a flag against a crip or something yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, whoa. It's like you were popping the nine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, there is videos of you like fucking 
one inch away from a dude's face who oh, weighed yeah. like 200 pounds more than you. Yeah. yeah. I, I like had to, cause at first I would like keep like more than an arm's distance. Cause I was like, I know, I know deep down I'm a pussy. Like I don't yeah. want to, but then I realized it's like part of it. You like have to like be within kissing distance. Of dudes. <laughs> yeah. You have to be a threat to kiss them at all times. Yeah. They thought I was going to fuck them up. Really? I was about to hot mouth and yeah. just make, make out with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't ready. <laughs> <laughs> See, and that that's why battle rap is crazy to me because you have to be like this and then remember like a <laughs> like a poem after that <laughs> dude one whiff <laughs> like, of bad breath yeah. would fuck up your whole yeah. verse you saw a clip of the dude puking uh from feel, like way back oh uh, i feel like there, there's been a couple dudes that puke there's it, a dude that chest that like couldn't stop puking there's just a dude from that nerves? puked a bunch of times there was, and no, tay no, no. rock puked as well there was neither of them this is a clip that like popped up again recently it looked like there's a, a dude named Matt Daly that puked. It was like a smaller league, and the dude's like, "Oh, hold up, I drank too much," and he just projectiles like up, like into his hand, <laughs> and then he continues, and everyone is commenting like, "God bless his opponent for just standing there for two more rounds with the dude." Like they're doing this, and he's got puke breath, <laughs> and oh. he's just standing there like, "What?" <laughs> oh yeah that's honestly a good he, strategy he yeah, threw yeah. up a gang song yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, yeah you need to be able to like freestyle about that if a guy's just throwing up in front of you yeah. you gotta say something a lot of dudes have puked i've like why yeah, are they puking so much i think it's a combination of well i think they're really nervous yeah i think that they don't want to say that they're really nervous so they'll be like i drank too much water or, like i didn't eat all day or something like that yeah a dude named fresco puked before like a bunch of dudes have uh have thrown up. I know everybody that's puked and every white dude that's ever said the N word. I have them photographically memorized. Wow. I saw white one dudes recently. Were around the N word. I saw one eight. recently, and the, every single person around him was black. And then someone hit him. Yeah. And then oh, I saw that video. The rest of the people were like, "Whoa!" <laughs> and then one guy defend, but then a black guy defended. Yeah, him. yeah. They all kind of like laughed, like. <laughs> <laughs> He shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, I appreciate the moxie. If there were a place <laughs> the to make that mistake, <laughs> yeah. it's probably here. <laughs> yeah, dude, we got to get him doing commentary on battle rap. <laughs> it, it would rule. a hard juxtaposition. It would rule. Imagine like it's like reacting to. Yes. You know, Roan versus... Yeah, it and it was be just great. the footage, and the, you hear the space bar, and it cuts them. Dude, this like, is the Godfather of reacting too, telling you that you have to do that. I mean, it's high uh, praise. I'm, I'm not. I, you know, I just I'm I'm among a you know a lineage, but I'm not. I don't feel <laughs> no, that. No, I I'm don't the, know. I feel like you might be Godfather. No, no, no shot, no shot, man. No <laughs> Who's shot. reacted to better than you? Probably Filthy Frank. Yeah. Yeah, because he had know. one where he like pulled up that image. It's like, would you stomp a puppy for fifty million dollars? <laughs> and he's like. I would beat the fuck out of that. <laughs> like, it's just like, it was unhinged stuff, man. That is unhinged. Yeah. Huh. You guys were much more measured in your reactions to. Yeah, you know, I think just we were a little bit older. We had day jobs. <laughs> yeah. Like people didn't know that, you know, we looked 14, but we were fully 27. <laughs> or like, can't get fired. Let's just say something that's kind of funny. You know? Yeah. Did it affect your ability to, um, or do you, do you, uh, look back on the things that you cringed at and you ever think that you cringe too hard at people or something like that? Or you think it was, it was always fair. I think we always kept it pretty light. I do think we used to do a roasting fans thing and I would go in like, like, I don't know, comedian mode, you know, when comics roast, it's like horrible. You know, they say the worst shit about people. You and, look like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking... And so, <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> go ahead finish i'm the, sorry yeah, every thought. every <laughs> roast you look like this you look like this oh so, no i'm thinking like when you know a bunch of comics get together and they write horrible shit yeah have you ever seen the roast? rich voss roast yeah yeah that roasted when they're talking about like jim florentine's like ex-wife and shit that yeah. one's like it's like so fucked up it's yeah like the, and they're like friends but it's like literally the meanest shit that they could possibly say to one another and they also take advantage of the fact that these other comics are like vulnerable on stage and yeah. they'll be like yeah my dad has cancer and then they'll wait for the moment to roast yeah like, his fucking pussy's dead <laughs> dad died yeah 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 but yeah, just, yeah like comics will just say means you know it's like the only 
the hottest thing, something, something, his dad's chemo treatment. Oh, yeah. you know, just like, <laughs> yeah. And so sometimes I go into that headspace and you look at some of those roasting fans ones and there's moments where Cody's like, yo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I know that was that was a banger. <laughs> yeah. And this person. Some fan crying yeah. at home. Yeah. Like, oh shit, I'm next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, that's my name. He's going to roast me. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How does he know that about my dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was doing, man. I was researching their families and shit. Nah, You're nah, hiring like private investigators. Nah, nah, I wouldn't do that. But you know what's funny too about that now is when I'll do shows, I had to like do this thing where people would sit in the front row and they'd be like, roast me. And yeah. I had to tell them no. I'm like, all right, that's you not don't what want this, this is. Yeah. Yeah. You say what you want. It's not even that. It's just like I don't I didn't bring you all in this room for me to be like yeah. yeah, fat bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but people want that. I feel like that's what they think. Or I mean, and I do think that's maybe the base level of crowd work is like some people is mean. Yeah, it's just being mean as fuck, which is funny because it's like people are paying to come to the show. Yeah, and then like a host will go up and be like, "You got, I fucking hate you." Yeah, yeah. And it's like Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, there's some people that do it the wrong way. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they go up to like open the show. It's like a sold out Friday night show and the host goes up and he's so, like so and the, whatever, and he, you guys all fucking suck anyways yes. your crowd doesn't know that guy yeah, yeah. and they're like wait, wait a minute bro. we oh, like man. Sass's draft video we didn't know we were gonna be told to kill ourselves in the first I got him warmed up five for you, minutes <laughs> They're steaming Matt. That happens in New York. And then the Constantly. and then the host will be like, What man, what's the matter with you guys? Yeah. You know? Like, and then yeah. every comic after that goes up, they're all just like, whatever, you guys are the worst crowd I've ever seen ever, anyways. And yeah. it's like, damn, dude. Yeah. It's so that happened to I did a show at the stand a couple weeks ago where that happened, where like the the manager was like, They're really bad. Like everyone's saying they're really bad. <laughs> and I went up and I was like, Why are you guys so bad? And they're like, I don't know. Like everyone just kept telling us we're like the worst. <laughs> We're the worst group of people they've ever been around. Damn. Yeah. Or like when uh, comics will be like, this side fucking sucks. Like, I like you guys over yeah, here as yeah. if they came in two halves. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. they don't all, it's all like pairs of two people all yeah. clustered together. It's just yeah. completely random where everyone's sitting. I will say that show, there was, it was the upstairs room at the stand and there was a party of 25 people. Mm. So that is like legitimately a group of 25 people yeah. came and all didn't laugh. Yeah. That's funny. That <laughs> Were they all blind? They might have been. Because I had a show. Oh in yeah, you had that. <laughs> Boston, where I found out five minutes before I went on stage that there was a group of twenty-five no deaf people, yeah. deaf people. No, wait, that's way. And there would blind. be a sign language interpreter on the stage next to me for this group. You should start. You should start talking really fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not capable. Uh, you don't have that Ben Shapiro any. <laughs> no, I speak as I speak very slowly and to the degree that afterwards uh the group came to me and through their interpreter conveyed how much they appreciated how slowly I spoke. Holy they shit. They thought you were doing it as a gift to them. And I was like, that's my normal speed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you should have t touched all their foreheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Feel that vibration. Damn. Do, you, do you give them anything special for the fact that they were... Uh... That's not a nice word. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, go ahead. For what? Just like just anything <laughs> being, tailored to them <laughs> for uh, being special? Yeah, no, I mean the fun part is always when you do like I do a joke about gorillas coming in my throat and uh just peeking at the sign <laughs> language interpreter. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you do that? Yeah. And she was like <laughs> and I'm like, that's exactly what I would have thought. Yeah, you know. That plays. Yeah, it was great. That's, that's funny so funny. In and of itself. That's insane. Yeah, that is like, a wild but they, they didn't they like spring it on you too it was like right before you they going did out. and they were a little racist uh oh, shit. where they were like we the really appreciated people? how slowly you spoke we've done this before at an urban comedy show oh, and it is oh, impossible God, to oh, translate what shit. they are saying and i was there's like, no oh, sign shit. language for the n-word <laughs> <laughs> spell it out every time <laughs> there probably oh, is yeah. sign, white sign language interpreter like <laughs> what can I? <laughs> She's just like you know the one, you know the, <laughs> you know the one, you know the one I can't do. She's like fella, <laughs> fella. No, that's not what I said. Say what I said. 
<laughs> convey what I said. <laughs> the spirit of the joke. Damn it. Damn, bro. If you ever have any deaf folks show up to your show, any blind folks, deaf folks, um, other invalids. If I didn't, I didn't see them. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. Are you still Mutual. smoking Jewel? I am. Yeah. Isn't that from? All right, we'll get back to that. <laughs> no, we can hop right to that. Yeah. No, we... I, you know, I've, I've had all kind. Of, it was it's pretty awesome. I did a show in uh, Charlotte, and I had two people in um, motorized chairs, mm. but they didn't know each other. No. Yeah. So I was like, let's turn this shit. <laughs> Wait, did you did you ask if they knew each other? Yeah. <laughs> were they sitting next to each other? Yeah, they were sitting. Next to yeah, each other. yeah, yeah. They yeah. rolled up together. Yeah. They yeah. gotta like they gotta like dap up when they see each other, right? <laughs> well, I was like, why don't you come on stage, turn the shit to like a you know like a car show? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> show like each other. Open, wait, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's just hanging chairs. on the back of the shit. Like, <laughs> were they in the types of motorized chairs that you would get at Walmart, where there's a basket <laughs> nah, on the front, nah, nah, or nah. oh, they needed nah. them? They yeah, the yeah, full, yeah. I see. Yeah. Like I see. No, she. I, I recognize, uh, like, I recognize one of them. She's she's actually super cool. I think she's been to a couple shows before. I'm forgetting her name, but yeah, she's super like just all about it. Is like random jokes, <laughs> um, but yeah, those are um, those are the only ones I can remember in recent memory. But anyways, you still smoke Jewel? I thought they don't sell that anymore. No, they do. They just don't sell like the flavored oh, shit anymore. Okay, yeah. So just nicotine. Nothing mm-hmm. for the kids. There's, there's a pretty good doc actually about the rise and fall of Jewel. Yeah, uh, and it will make you feel bad for the company. What? Yeah. Which is always like every documentary you have to take with a grain of salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, is this the Netflix one? Yeah, it's really good. Um, but wasn't it the like crux of why they stopped doing the flavors because they were trying to? It was too like appealing to the kids. Yeah. Yes. And that, now like every vape is like bubble was that, gum. Was that just candy. the narrative? Uh, well, Jewel got uh blamed potentially, probably rightfully so, to a degree, for the massive explosion in addiction among teenagers. Oh, okay. And then the FDA decided that the best way to combat that would be to remove the flavored pods, which were specifically meant to target teenagers. Right. But it didn't change the fact that as far as a device meant to help people, like smokers, stop smoking cigarettes, it was by far the best solution interest to that and so fda was like we know we don't want to take it off the market completely uh so we'll allow you guys to keep operating with your regular flavored shit got it and then in its place sprung up all these copycat things, yeah, yeah. Which were way more toxic puff bars are like bright pink you know dude, I mean? have you seen some... the videos yeah. of the of the dudes testing them in the in like the factories no nah. you haven't seen those oh yes i have where they'll it's have like, like a just tray like an of indian them? dude just yeah 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 <laughs> yeah just yeah. going after every single one <laughs> this is like that could be me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if barstool didn't work yeah, out yeah, yeah. Is like a no wrong why didn't noel dude. tell me to <laughs> yeah. yo should i <laughs> test yeah. jewels now? should i be a puff bar tester <laughs> you'd, yeah, be, dude. you'd be great at it dude yeah you still go hard at it i respect yeah it. well i well, I used to use the disposables mm. but then i was like if i'm not gonna quit i should probably switch to something that's not that they at least they know what it's what's in it right yeah yeah so. it's also your only joint life you stopped drinking you just got that blood work back that said you can't eat yeah what's up with your blood work anymore no pastries no steak okay, no read pastries. the list of what they said Dude, you can't so, so many foods because yeah i'm shocked that you were shocked by the list it's everything bad that you could ever imagine it's like butter salt steak sausage and he's like dude they're saying i can't have ice cream anymore what the <laughs> fuck is this i know ice cream i said i was surprised was on the list okay just as a specific yeah they said Why? that I, would be number one well they saw his titties and <laughs> I, don't also, I, also, I don't eat a lot of ice cream they said no fried greasy foods oils ice cream butter cheese pastries pies processed foods processed meat sausages fat meat mayo creams red meat wow so, so that no. limits it to what Meat, mayo, creams. <laughs> yeah, so nasty. Yeah. Fat on meat, mayo, creams. That's just such a nasty pairing of words. But yeah. that is, but that those are the most obvious culprits. Those are like the bad foods yeah. for you. Yeah, I so, can't believe you're shocked that these are bad foods. So, what do you guys eat in replacement to every single thing on that list? Beet salads. Beet salads. Beet salad. Twenty four seven. That's why he looks like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I gotta get That's on. That's why I look younger cake. than you. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve years older. <laughs> He'll take his shirt off. Uh, I don't know. Make sure Assassin's doctor is like going like this to his nipple. And it's like <laughs> you gotta trim this down, player. <laughs> or your doctor having to like go up your shirt when he's trying to take your. Uh, oh yeah, using I got the, the stethoscope, yeah. but you won't take. I got your shirt the EKG. Off I got the EKG with my shirt on. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. I prefer not. <laughs> wow. No, I actually I was like, should I take my shirt off? And they were like, no. And then they no just made me see lift that. my shirt up. <laughs> Sass was actually the weird. only male part of the group lawsuit against Larry Nasser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should be quite a menace on the pole vault. Yeah. The fucking balance beam. I gotta leave Michigan State. What should I do? Should I try stand up? I just thought they were standard breast exams. I, I didn't know. I mean... <laughs> Deacon Ginn. Deacon. <laughs> yeah, the Deacon. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Deacon Ginn's going to be pissed off. Yeah. Did they ever make you climb rope? When I was really young, but... Yeah. That was never yeah. part of our... <laughs> yeah. What type of rope we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Shoot rope, climb rope, catch rope, push rope. I had to climb the fucking... Did you guys have to climb the rope? That shit was like... Nah. That shit felt dangerous. Yeah. There would be like kids that were like 40 feet off the ground yeah. with like no harness yeah. or anything. It's pretty hilarious to ask like non-developed humans to be like, go up there. Yeah. <laughs> and like you're at your tiredest at the most dangerous part of it. Yeah. yeah. Like you're all the way at the top when you're at your tiredest and that's when it becomes treacherous. Yeah. Like that's when you can fall to your death. Yeah. Yeah. But they slid like one inch of gym mat underneath you, yeah. expecting like the wrestling mat to save your life. No, I, I, I was recruited, which is what made it easier to get in. Oh, because you were a, a, a lacrosse player. Yeah. Got it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I was there. And uh, I was there with Jeremy Lin. Had a Same took, year. Uh, and I just saw that clip. Pat Science Bev. 835. Yeah. Could have the been there with Pat Bev. universe. We were in a section together. Wow. And we would, uh, we would share... Uh, Ranchers with each other and then he and i would walk from class to the to the place the cafeteria dining hall and he would always be wearing like harvard basketball gear mm. you know jacket pants <clears throat> and then like a backpack and i i always thought he had the feeling that people would come up to him and be like hey a big fan uh, but nobody gave a shit uh, he was trying to bait them into yeah, because years later, I went to UNC. A girl I was dating was doing med school there. And I went and saw, a f I saw a few of the UNC basketball players like walking into a library and they were all decked out in their Tar Heels sweats. And people were coming up being like, great game. Anytime you need me to do your homework, let me know. Wow. And I, I felt looking back like Jeremy Lin had thought, because he was, he was that caliber of a player of a star at Harvard, the problem was nobody no cared, cared about, about basketball. That much. Well, they yeah. probably just thought he was another Asian dude at Harvard because he's like what six three or something like that. So he needs yeah. to stand out. But they're that's like, why look at that guy who thinks he's Jeremy Lin. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. He's yeah, dressed the same way. Yeah. But the UNC guys, I feel like they're six eleven. You yes. know what I mean? They don't need to be like I play basketball. It's fucking obvious that they play basketball. Right. They're six eleven at UNC. Yeah. Yeah. But he, you know, he had the last lap. I mean, he truly became what he was. Yeah. Damn. I think you had the last lap, bro. You're here with us, dude. Yeah. What having, is he doing? I'm, I've been having many last laughs. I'm yeah. laughing a lot. You can't stop last laughs. I don't think Jeremy Lin has laughed in a long time. <laughs> when was the last time he laughed? One time, I went to a Rangers hockey game at Madison Square Garden, and I was sitting near Spike Lee, and I went up to him. I had taken another class, uh, the early films of Spike Lee, which is a... Uh, whatever lit b35 or something like that and glad i know that uh the the anyway uh why did i bring this up i told spike lee i was like i took a class on you at harvard and uh do you know this professor and he goes i don't but were you there with jeremy lynn and i go yeah and he goes shoot me straight is it true that he was a virgin <laughs> Damn. And I was like, yeah, I think uh, he's very devout. I think so. And he goes, what a pussy bitch. No. Swear to God. No. And I go, thanks, Spike. Uh, that's very funny. Um, be well. And I shook his hand and I walked away. What? Damn. He said that. He was so disappointed to learn that Jeremy Lin was actually a virgin in, in college. What? That's so he's fucked so, up. He's so uh, Catholic or Christian or whatever. Was what? he Christian? Yeah, he's Christian. He's, okay. He's very devout. Got it. Imagine someone teaching an entire course on you and you're not even knowing they exist. That's even crazier. <laughs> yeah. That's even crazier. While you're still alive. Yeah. And all you can think about is like, 
whether the student was getting his dick yeah. wet. <laughs> yeah. Now, I don't know who that is, but tell me about Jeremy Lin. Was he fucking or not? <laughs> That's some pretty old man behavior. Yeah. yeah. I took a class and you're my idol. How much pussy was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he did He wanted nothing to do yeah. with the academic yeah. kind of yeah, flagellating or whatever. Not flagellating. Uh, is that the right word? No. <laughs> flagellating is like self-flagellating. Yeah, like yeah. Nasty to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. What am I thinking of? Me sucking his dick? Flatulence, maybe? No, that's farting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. I don't Fellating. Know. Fellating is what I there was thinking. There it is. Fellating. Yeah. Fellating, yeah. Fellating. Damn. Damn, bro. Sorry I went in on you for your Harvard career. No, I just, just got nervous. You're allowed to. I, I don't okay. know why. Uh, I, don't, I want to act fresh here. Like, I just met the man. You're I'm allowed to. Trying to- well, I'll be at the stand tomorrow. Maybe we can hang then if you're there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm down to, yeah. That'd be fun. I'm down to just show up and say what's up. And yeah, see definitely. The vibe. Yeah. Yeah, All right, yeah, big link. You're grinding on tour, bro. Give, give, yeah, what, throw some dates. Yeah, out man, there. I'm in Omaha next. I, you know, I, I got a lot of dates this year. NoelMillerLive.com. I will be doing the New York Comedy Fest. Oh hell yeah! Can't uh. say when, but <laughs> oh fuck, we're very clear about. Keep your that. eyes out for that one. Yeah, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, that'll be that's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, yeah, definitely down to pop out to the stand. So, fuck yeah. All right. Uh, you're a legend. Big fan. Thank oh, you so no, much for thank coming you guys. Thank dude. you guys for having me, man. No, this, this is awesome. I'm going to be in yeah. Houston this weekend. I have to say it, but I'm going to be in a, I was going to, I was going to not say it. And now I'm like, nah, I got to say it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be in Houston this weekend at the improv. Get tickets. And I'm away That's- next week. Give her, we, you got to give your Super Bowl pick because I'm away next week. We got to just talk ball for like one, uh, one yeah, square 49ers. Minute. I don't actually really? want any of those teams to win. And I, I think, think the Chiefs it? are definitely going to win. But I bet on the 49ers. I had a bonus oh. bet that expired today, so I used it last night. Francis, give us a super The Bowl Niners pick. spread is going to be the right bet. The I Niners think. are favored. Are they now? So the spread is they're, they're minus one and a half. Why are they favored? Just because they have a better record. Hmm. I could see that line moving a lot, though. I think the money's going to pile into Kansas City. I think it went, it, was, it has been moving. It was like two and a half. They were favored by yep. two and a half, then it's down to one. You know what's weirdly respectful about? The Chiefs game, I didn't really see a lot of people clowning like the Willie Gay neck injury. Oh, yeah, that is. You didn't see that? No, I, yeah, I guess people weren't weren't clowning that. Yeah, Willie Gay on the Chiefs out for a neck injury. <laughs> you think that there's a lot that there's a lot of meat left on that bone? <laughs> I just I just was expecting way more like gay dudes being like, <laughs> all right, come on. <laughs> yeah, like, that is. Come on. Maybe that's why it was. Maybe it was just so obvious. Yeah, two on the like, nose. Yeah, <laughs> leave it there, man. Come on, bro. Yeah. His neck's hurt. Who yeah. you got? Who you got in the Super Bowl, bro? Or you have a rooting interest, or even if it's not a betting thing, you're uh, I don't have a rooting you're a California interest. man. Yeah, San Francisco. Nah, I mean, you don't claim San Francisco. Nah, come on, man. <laughs> I don't align myself in a in corporation. <laughs> let a franchise get in my mind like Silicon that. Valley, bro. Yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> nah, if I had to pick, I'm gonna say Patrick. I think I think Chiefs will take it just because. That whole instance with Justin Tucker, I mean, that is like, that is so just petty, rude. Oh my god! And to be at the level you're at and to behave like that, I'm like Jordan esque, honestly. Like Jordan would be petty and rude like that. That to me is like when a, a UFC fighter, it, like a Brazilian UFC fighter, like when they cut to them for the interview and they're like, "I do this for God. I I <laughs> kill whoever's in front of me." Like it's like that mentality. Totally. Yeah. He's so. mowing people down. Yeah. I totally agree that he's on a different plane. His level of competition is uh, supersedes everybody else's. So I'm also on the Chiefs. Yeah, because I feel like Brock. Brock's doing it, but I feel like Brock's doing it in like an academic way. Yeah, like, he is I'm that- here. I'm here to do my job. Yeah. I love this team. We're gonna go get him. And Patrick's on the other side. Like, I don't give a damn near fuck who's on the other yeah. side. <laughs> I'm gonna shove this ball down their motherfucking neck. That's what it is. And I think that attitude is what's gonna carry. Totally agree. Yeah. Beautifully stated. Yeah. Um, check him out in Omaha. Yeah. New sorry. York, I didn't mean to- no, that's no, exactly no. what we needed. That's yeah. What we needed. We need because they love when we talk ball. Oh. We talk all this comedy shit, dude. They they want us to talk ball at the end of the day. So we just had to give them a little. Okay. A little, little taste. taste. Little yeah. sprinkle. We're, in, we're in Denver the weekend after, and then Albany. And I'm going to be walking my dog this weekend if anybody wants to slide by. <laughs> wants to pop, Brooklyn. come through. Yeah, slide through Brooklyn. Come I'll through be walking Brooklyn. My dog. Man, man, I'm sorry. When you do when you do battles, you don't really have to promote, do you? What do you mean? Like, you don't have to go super hard. Like, you're just like, I'm going. I feel like the battle rap audience is like, they know. Uh, I mean, you could promote. There's like pay per views that like. Uh, oh yes, yes. So yes. like, you want a lot of people to buy the pay per view. Yes, yeah. But I've never even really been like financially tied into like a percentage of the pay per view. I should. That would probably be smarter. Yeah. And so I could. It would be 
more beneficial to uh, to promote it. But I usually don't promote. I I would never promote it that much. I never would even talk about it that much. I never want to give the other dude that much bulletin board material. Mm. To say something real nasty mm. about me. Mm. Play like I don't know. Play a little white man can't jump. Yeah. Ben, I'm fucking. So a bit Are like you guys boxing. playing basketball? <laughs> What's going on? I here? love that. What do you hear else? <laughs> you guys mean basketball? <laughs> Get up. He's incredible. Oh man. Anyway, sorry. No, no, um, no, 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 don't yeah. apologize. <laughs> Sorry for talking on the show. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know if you're trying to get out of here. No, not at all, bro. I don't I'm, know. I'm a train, you know, I'm trained in this. We go seven hours straight. <laughs> oh, we're no, Lock no, the no. door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got a terabyte on that motherfucker. I'm going to burn it down. No, I'm kidding. No, Dude, you mentioned the UFC fighters, and I remember Israel Adesanya standing across the ring and saying, I'm ready to die. Yeah. Do you think he meant that? Yes. I think like so. let's put it hypothetically, he dies, and he looks back down on himself. Do you think he'd be like, "Ooh, yeah, I don't know." That no, I'm no, no. I, I think I think Izzy really like p- people say he's like a cringe lord, and he might be a little bit, but I think he still has that element of like like a religious fighter. Mm. Like I think at that moment in his career, yeah, I think he wanted it that bad. I guess my doubt comes from the fact that I think he's very good on media on podcasts mm-hmm. and he has more to life than just the fighting yeah the way that those religious brazilian guys are yes yeah i think maybe that's maybe that i really respect him for being like i think i'm just gonna chill for a bit mm-hmm. i think that was like really smart but yeah. yeah i think he i think that's the problem is he actually hit superstardom right and he is a personality and this is, you know this is what happened to connor it's like it's hard to stay motivated yeah how can you want to kill someone when you have like fifty bajillion dollars? The money, the money is <laughs> yeah. minimal. Yeah, I guess you work for uh, I don't know, like Northrop Grumman or some shit. Or but Strickland Raytheon. was a, yeah, right. yeah. If you work for a Raytheon, train killer, yeah, you probably want to kill people for fifty. Million. But like Strickland was the same. He was like to the death, like yeah. shaking before that fight. He, right, he was locked in. But I think that it's that for any profession. Like once you have a ton of money, like how do you stay motivated? Yeah. I guess greatness, like, yeah. uh, or just getting that next contract, or getting a bunch more money. Like mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes has Super Bowls. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Like, that's true. You're the greatest stand-up of all time. Like, how yeah, do you whoa, stay? Whoa, 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 <laughs> you're fucking whoa, rich whoa, beyond whoa, your own. We're rich beyond anyone. <laughs> I'm just barely getting started. <laughs> no, no. Not really, but um, yeah. What happens when you get to like, if you're if you're Tom Brady, it's probably I don't know. Like that's what you... he talked about. He's like, I have to like create enemies for myself because they don't exist. Like, I yeah. like, what the fuck do they say? What the fuck are they saying over there? That's that's so psycho. Yeah, you have to be that's a yeah. psycho Crazy. to like yeah. not rest on your laurels. And I think a guy like that retires and then realizes he can't face the quiet. Yeah, he can't stop. Oh playing. yeah, Br- Brady's been yapping so nonstop since he retired. Yeah, he's on. He's, he's got like, like chatting, seven bro. podcasts. Yeah. Yeah, he lost his mind. Yeah. Lost Giselle. He lost Giselle. He lost the kids. But he's about to be in the booth next year. I think he'll be I know. I saw that. Him and Tony? Yeah, that'll be interesting. (laughs) I hope he's good. If he sucks, I mean, that ruins his legacy. Yeah. If he's terrible. Jason Mm -hmm. Witten was terrible for one year. He had to go back to football. He had to, like, strap back up and be a tight end again because he sucked so bad. Wow. He Mm -hmm. thought that he was going to, like, progress. Tom might be good in there because he might just hate on everyone's game. I hope that's he does. what he's been. Get, that's what he's been doing lately. But, yeah, but yeah. I, I mean, like to do that on broadcast, like oh, broadcast yeah. TV, is really funny. Yeah, it is. You'd be like Tom, what do you think? Exciting game today, and he's like, I don't know. He's got a weak arm. Yeah, <laughs> who was the dude that like <laughs> ripped on? He's soft. Yeah, he's soft. Who was the dude that shit on Zach Wilson? On bro- on the broadcast, <laughs> it was like after the game, they were like, oh, yeah. they were like, look, Zach's young. He's got a lot of potential, and this guy's like. Guys, let's be honest. He fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it? Bo- wasn't it Booger McFarland? I, I Rodney, Rodney, Rodney Harris. Harris. Yeah, <laughs> literally, just like they're, they're sitting, they're on the field after the game, and they're like, Damn. "He's trash." That's that's. He's like, "Why are we beating around the bush? He's bad." That's harsh. They yeah. love that though, especially uh, like ESPN or ABC, NBC. Like they love when pl- former players are not pro player. Like if you're too pro player, they're gonna be like, "Yeah, he's just sucking everybody off." Like they want you to be like fuck him he yeah. sucks he's not good enough yeah. yeah because otherwise it just turns into a circle jerk yeah you need some nasty former players to tell it like it is jalen rose is very good at that just t- saying the people suck saying people are bad and you know having the game to back it up just being a heel basically yeah it's tough because like nobody's that bad they're right. in the nfl you know what i mean yeah. like you can't just be like they flat out suck who scalabrini everyone always shit on scalabrini yeah 
it's so funny. He would he would ball at like um, a park near where it's like some of my friends lived, and my friends would go up there and they play with him, and th- they never they knew they're like this dude was in the NBA. He was like a killer. Yeah. Um, but he, my friends would tell me like the delusion people would have like walking from the parking lot being like Scalabrine is here man I'm about to peck this motherfucker and yeah. he'd go out there he'd ball on everyone and my friends would say like it was incredible that people could be dumbfounded by this yeah he's <laughs> in the like, he's not only 6'8 but he's in the NBA but they're like he has NBA. red hair it's because yeah. of it's because of how he looks <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh no bro I'm sorry I don't think of Scalabrini but he did do that no Scalabrini he does do that Matt Bonner no I, but no Scalabrini did do that he would like take all comers on, on like Twitter, like he'd meet trolls at some random yeah. YMCA, yeah, and then post the video. I'm thinking of the dude. Oh, he was a Laker. Ah, fuck. Was it the Mark Madsen? Maybe the dude who did the goofy Damn. dances at the parades, no. or uh, Adam Morrison, the dude from Gonzaga. Damn oh wait, it. um, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Are you thinking of Kobe <laughs> yeah, Bryant? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he recently did a clip, like. And this like comes to mind because he did like a podcast where he talked about it, and he was talking about like I was in the NBA, motherfucker. I'm like I'm accurate. Like I, you know, ah, damn it. I'll, it'll Everybody in the NBA could just pack up any any anyone, random dude, anyone, any random guy at basketball because they play basketball all year round against everybody in the yeah. summer and they dominate. Yeah, Pat Bev gets the same shit. There, people are like, dude, I'll fucking play Pat Bev one on one. Yeah, it's like, dude, he's in the fucking NBA. Yeah, he's in the league. He had sixteen and fucking like. 11 mm. last night like yeah. that's fucking in the, playing against steph curry <laughs> yeah. like what are we talking about yeah man. playing against the end the, the reigning mvp he just had 17 and 11 like, yeah, what are we dude. talking about yeah it's crazy just talking well, a little we ball. almost made it through a whole episode of son of a boy dad with pull down the summerton football pull, pull down the Bev. shirt you see what's behind <laughs> we there we get it dude the black community accepts you <laughs> <laughs> must be nice you know? battle rap nba yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. damn the deaf people rubbed off on you <laughs> sure did, <laughs> sure did. <laughs> they sure did holy shit that's my community <laughs> 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 oh my god my get him out of here. good shit bro appreciate yeah. you bro yeah, yeah, thanks for having on appreciate it sweet that was awesome yeah that oh, was yeah. great man. yeah for coming on. No, of course man anytime